We've masked, masked off the uh, sole there. They were originally orange at the front, bit of an eyesore. So, all up, a pencil marker pen because it's waterproof. So, this is the first coat going on, and all I'm doing is just basically just drawing on it. Nothing fancy. After one and a half coats. Permanent marker. We went with permanent marker in the end because it's waterproof. Fabric paint on. Black. And as you can see, shoes have gone brown with permanent marker, so we need to put something a bit stronger on. There is um, three coats, three coats of paint, uh, two co coats of um, permanent marker. Everything's gone on. Um, we've got this. We've got this currently set up uh, in the shed. What I found was whilst it was drying, um, you get dust and hairs sticking to the um, the mesh. So it's best whilst it's drying just to keep it um, kind of out of the way, and then everything should look good. Um, just pretty much gone round them with a wet wipe. Take advantage of that wind. The fabric dye getting a lot of dust sticking to the to the front of it so what we had to do was I ended up putting that on the front of the trainer putting it in a dish and using a just going around the top of the trainer like that um, and it instantly dries Kiwi shine and protect instantly dries the other stuff doesn't it doesn't dry no matter how much hair, hair dryer you use. 